and I really don't think people can uh, appreciate what they have when they don't experience something they didn't. You have to have the didn't before the did. The well, didn't kids today did. definitely don't get it. They don't understand it all. Kids, they don't know. They have so much things at their fingertips. They don't know what it's like. Yeah. yeah I mean, I don't even think Bryce knows about the one phone <laughs> in the hallway. <laughs> the one phone in the hallway. Oh. And then we got the long cord that we can stretch the long cord <laughs> and be in every room on that phone. Like, hello, you know, or the pay phone. You had to stop at the pay phone to make a phone call. That was crazy. You're so right about that. You're that so right. right. When I was 16 years old, the year before I left the house, so I was in an apartment in Queens, New York, which is where I was raised. Yeah. And my dad and mom would go to sleep at like midnight. But I was dating, you know, I was dating a lot of girls. So yeah. I'm dating, but they couldn't call my house past a certain no, time. No, so no, would, no, no. I, I would call. I would mom call would kill me. At 11 p.m., I swear I would do this. I would call 77 Film. You remember 777 Film? Yeah. It, it was an party automated lines? system. The party oh, lines. Oh, Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I kept, I kept it on my ear for like an hour and a half until one of my girlfriends would call me at 1 a.m. Because then the call oh, waiting, yeah. nobody could hear the ringer. Because I'm exactly. on this thing. And I'd pick it up, and then we'd make our plans and sneak out. Man, what a time it was. And, of course, oh, yeah. VHS tapes. That's all I'm going to say. VHS yeah, and, and, and that's when TV went off. When TV actually right. went off. Yes, it went off there. It went off there. That's right. It went off yeah, the air. Bryce, Bryce and I are too young to remember that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Is it inappropriate to recline your seat on an airplane? You know, and remember, you don't go into a person. You shouldn't go into their lap. Should you get one notch and only one notch on the airplane? Because that's it. Nobody wants to see your head. I think the buttons are wrong, right? If you get rid of the buttons, there should be some sort of golden rule. Don't you feel like we should have sort of like in a football team, there's sort of like we're all going to huddle together before we actually depart and lift off. And we tell our fellow flight goers, hey, look, I know you want to get comfortable. You want to lean back. I'm going to do the same. But one notch is all you get. One notch because I don't want to feel your bald head. Right here on my forehead. I don't want the knees to what, crash with my chair. Uh, some etiquette, some airplane etiquette, maybe. You know. Well, the, yeah. The only thing that bugs me the most about an airplane is when people put their knees in your back, and you're oh. sitting there going, and you're like, you know, and they keep. And you look back. I would be like, oh, I'm sorry, and stop doing it. But they keep doing it, or they'll put their hands in there, and they'll feel, and it feels like they're touching your butt. And you're like, what? It. God, it's, it's very weird, you know, when it happens, you know. Always so it hits the worst part of your knee. Oh, yeah, it's their meniscus that way. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you're not yeah. even doing the person behind you what, what what they want. What about the armrest? There's no armrest rule. It's like Lord of the Flies. Oh. I think there should be like a state of the armrest address or something. There needs to be something done. I, yeah. I would vote for the person right now. We don't get political. I would vote for the person who would employ this strategy and make it a policy. I really would. Great, uh, Avi, when, when, Avi, when you travel with guys like I do, uh, you have Big Show and Andre the Giant are seven foot four, <laughs> four hundred and fifty oh, yeah. pounds. Yeah. He can do any damn thing he wants to on the airplane. And imagine a passenger when he slides his seat back. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind? Oh, excuse me. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, big Show, the Big Show that's seven foot one, four hundred pounds. You know, or even even you know, some of our big guys out, Brock Lesnar. You know. We all oh. travel on those planes. The, the thing that, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, hey, I hate the armrest is the thing that gets me. Uh, we, we've, all, we've all done our time and coach. I mean, is it is it you get a quarter of it? Do you get a half of it? Yeah. Well, what do that's you, a, yeah. what I, do I, you I, get? Yeah, yeah what, what, are you, exactly what right. are you over, over <laughs> and out of bounds on this? <laughs> right, know? right. But the thing, that, the thing that ticks me off more than anything else is when they're a little kid, we're all parents, so we try to be patient with other parents that have kids oh, yeah. that support, travel yes. with because we all travel. It's not to yep. chat or anything. I can put up with that. No, but yep. when, 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 when they get bored and they put their little feet on the back of it. <laughs> yes, and they're not yes. Yes. Yeah, like, God, I'm you. Like, oh, yeah, God, yeah. God, yeah, yeah I, <laughs> it, it happened to me one time when I was going to Texas and I had, I was coming back. I caught the flu and I was flying back and I was wearing a mask and I was so sick. And the kids kicking my chair, you know, oh. I just want to sleep. You know what I mean? And I, I go, excuse me, can you please have your son stop getting sick? He go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And it's still going. I'm the fly. Oh, no. Look, can you please have your son kick your seat? Now, by now, I'm sweating, you know, because I got the fever. I'm sweating. Oh, yeah. And he kicked my chin. I go, stop kicking my fucking seat. I'm going to kill you. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm crying. I'm like sweating. And why the kids got, they were like, oh, sorry. But I'm like, how many times do you have to tell somebody to stop kicking your seat, you know? But I've learned something with, with the armrest thing where I tell the person, you take the front, 
I'll take the back. That's what yes. I tell people. A compromise. You take the front, that's I'll good, take the back. Good, huh? it, it, it works, you know. You got I got the back here, she's got the front. It's all right. I'm good with it. That's all right. Play uh, etiquette. That's good. And there. the last 10% of a tube of toothpaste lasted about as long as the rest of the 90%. <laughs> a little bit left. You ever do that? You just you, you yeah. don't want to. You don't want to. Mm. Oh, man, do that squeeze, man. Me too. I just left. squeeze it all out. Squeeze. There's one more squeeze left. Always. Oh, like, That's when you wish you had the Danny Hard squeeze that could squeeze the yeah, apple. An apple. The flowers, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, Todd and Bryce. I'm sure you know Danny Hodge. God Almighty. Could, could, uh, uh, Gerald with both hands just break an apple. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One hand. That's insane. I take, I take, yes. I take the flowers and snap them like that. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's one of the greatest two strong of hands. all time. Oh my God, Danny Hodge. I go, I go back to. Were you involved with the great Mephisto? Do you remember him? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That fact, was one of my favorites growing up. Oh, what? Wow. Oh man, that is my favorite wrestler of all time. I went to go see him when I was in San Francisco. When I lived there, I was six years old. It was like sixty something. Like 1960 something. That was the like Royal Shire territory, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I had I had my I had the mumps and I begged my mom to let me go. I was like, please let me go. Oh, He's gonna man. be there. It's the cage now. It's the cage now. It was a there's still cage of death, something crazy like that. And my mom finally let me go and put a sheet around my head and I went and people thought I was an Arab because I had a sheet around my head and I was like, Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to be there and watch the wrestling match. That's all I wanted to be able to do.